welcome to a completely new type of video that we haven't done yet. Um, when Kyle and I first started this YouTube channel, it was based off of the name of a business idea we had, Gumchus Gizmos. And that business idea basically was that we would just make some really cool stuff and sell it to family and friends and people around school. And uh, I even have the business card we used to have, uh, Gumchus Gizmos, there's uh, our little logo that we still have today, and what was cool, like, on the back, is stuff that we sold. Uh, we have 3D printed bow ties, customizable duct tape wallets, and coming soon, smoke bombs. We actually never got to making smoke bombs. But anyway, in light of that, I wanted to start a new thing on this channel, which is basically taking something really cool, really easy to make, and just explaining how it works and how awesome it is. So without further ado, to the 30 subscribers who are interested, or technically 28, because Kyle and I are subscribed to ourselves, without further ado, here is the first truly gumptious gizmo. That was, that was pretty cool. Let me see if I can do that again. Hold on. Announcing our very first gumptious gizmo, an iPhone projector. Yes, one you can make yourself without any wires or circuits, just good old human ingenuity. Now this is how it works. On one side of the iPhone projector is a magnifying glass, and somewhere in the middle standing up is your phone. And to adjust and focus the image, you can move your phone around the empty space, and the light from the phone creates a much larger image projected through the magnifying glass on whatever surface you're working with. Now I made mine out of just some black cardboard and a magnifying glass, but you can make yours out of a shoebox if you want. Now to keep the phone standing up, I made a little cardboard stand and a paper clip to hold it, and I also have a flap in the back, which I can put the phone in, then adjust the image by pulling and pushing the phone. Now you're probably wondering, how well does this actually look, and actually pretty good considering it's just from an iPhone. When the lights are on, you see nothing, but when the lights are off, you can see the image is actually pretty clear. So the classic iPhone projector, now that's cool and all, you can make it in under 10 minutes I'd say if you had a shoebox and the right size of magnifying glass, but you know what, I'm gonna ramp it up a bit. I'm gonna make this truly a gumptious gizmo, cause right now this is just a gizmo. It needs to be a gumptious gizmo. Let's see what we can do about it. And introducing our very first gumptious gizmo, the upgraded iPhone projector. And, uh, first off, sorry about the music, but royalty-free music, am I right? Now, you'll notice at first I, I made it tripod-friendly, and I did that simply by gluing a nut or a bolt or whatever the heck you call that screw-like thing to the bottom, and it actually works pretty well. It's just glued right in there. Next, you'll notice that the faulty film reels on top are actually not just for decoration. They serve a purpose. When you turn them, that actually focuses the image by moving the phone stand, which then changes the distance between the phone and the magnifying glass, focusing the image on whatever you're projecting on. And I made these with um, some yogurt cup lids. I took a sharpie and I drew some circles around it. And then at first I tried to use a razor blade to cut them out, but I found that that didn't work very well. So I got a little creative and I figured out that a, a large hole punch that I had would actually work perfectly. So I cut off the sides, I used a hole punch, and it was beautiful. Then after that, I just spray painted them silver and I was all ready to go. All I had to do now was just take the rest of the plastic that I'd cut off and glue it back on. The last little upgrade I made doesn't have a real purpose, but the barn doors on the front of the projector just look really cool and sell the whole thing. So with some work from a straight edge and a razor blade, I was able to make four, four polygon panels, which then I glued together and made it look awesome. And there she is. What a beauty. This is a really cool thing that you can make with enough time and effort, and it only runs on just your iPhone. Well, thank you for watching our very first episode of Gumchus Gizmos, or whatever name, I'm gonna fix it something eventually. Uh, if you did like it and you wanna see more, make sure to let me know, and also subscribe by clicking on my face to get more episodes of Gumchus Gizmos, of Google Cardboard Gaming, and just a whole bunch of really cool stuff that, well, I think it's cool. You might think it's cool too, if you do, you know what to do. You know what. You know what to do. Anyway, bye.